Hello everyone. Games have rules so that everyone has a fair chance to win. We also have rules at school and at home. We have rules at church too. Rules are important so we will know how to act. They help us remember to do what is right. The Bible uses a word that is like the word rule. It is commandment. The commandments in the Bible tell us how God wants us to act. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 22 so we can take a closer look at two of these very important commandments. Before we talk more about these commandments, let us pray and ask God to help us understand how he wants us to act. Go for buddies, let us bow our heads and close our eyes so that we can talk to God. Thank you, dear God, for your word, the Bible. Thank you, Father, for giving us your commandments. And as the gopher buddies settle down now, allow them to have good listening ears so that they can hear your lesson from your word, the Bible. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone say, Amen. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 22, that one day a man asked Jesus which one of the commandments was the most important. Listen as I read in Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 to 38 to find out Jesus' answer. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Jesus told the man that the first and most important commandment was to love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. God wants us to act in ways that will show others that we love him. However, Jesus wasn't quite finished answering the man's question. Listen as I read Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. First, let's talk about what a neighbor is. Boys and girls, the people on your street, next door, and your friends are all your neighbors. But Jesus means something more than that. Jesus means that Everyone is your neighbor. The person at the grocery store is your neighbor. The little boy down the street that is mean to you. And even I am your neighbor. Let's find out what it means to love them as yourself. Jesus is telling us to love everyone and to love them like we love ourselves. Let's see. You eat when you are hungry and you sleep when you feel tired. You put on a coat and gloves when you feel cold. You do all those things to take care of yourself. Just as you love and take care of yourself, the Bible says you are to love your neighbor the same way. It's hard to think of others and show love to them when there is only one piece of cake left. Or when you get a new toy and your sister wants to play with it. The commandments in the Bible tell us how God wants us to act. Jesus, God's son, came to the earth to show us the way to act. He showed us how to love others. Jesus shared what he had with others. He put others first. He said kind things to people. There were people that were not nice to Jesus, but he was always nice to them. Jesus was loving to everyone. He set an example for us so we would know what to do. Jesus said that the most important commandment is to love God. And the second most important commandment 
is to love others. Let's think about some things that might happen in the coming week and how you can show love to others. The older lady who lives next door is sick. You can help your mom make some soup for her. There is a storm and your sister or brother is scared. You can comfort them. Your friend is lonely at home. Ask mom or dad to help you send them a voice note or make a phone call even to chat to them. Can you think of someone that you can show love to this coming week? Sometimes that is a hard thing to do, especially when someone is mean to you. Let's pray and ask God to help us follow his commandment and act like he wants us to. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, please help the Gopher Buddies to follow your commandments during this week. We are told to love others, to love our neighbors, but most importantly, to love you more than ourselves. And so this week, we ask that you help the boys and girls to show love to others. And we ask this in your precious name with much thanksgiving. And everybody say, Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining me for this week's lesson. Have a blessed week, boys and girls. Take care. Bye.